I love local multiplayer games. They're some of my bread and butter. And although online multiplayer has definitely taken over and got a larger slice of the pie these days, local multiplayer for me is still where it's at quite often. Onsen Master offers just that, between one to two players taking on what I would tagline as spirited away bathhouse, overcooked version, the game. <laughs> uh, because you and another player can take over and manage an onsen, a hot spring. And so what you're doing is having human customers and yokai spirits coming along requiring um, a specific type of hot spring bath so that they can clean themselves. This is tied into a wider story, which was super cute, um, but very far away at the same time. And that just kind of takes you around accessing all of these different six hot springs. Inside the story mode, there are three levels in each. There's a boss in the third level, which I'll get to in a second. But the idea around this whole game is that it's all about being as quick and proficient as possible, less around teamwork and working together, even though there's a co-op element. And the reason why I say that is that there's only one station for being able to chop up ingredients, which is a key part of this game. But also you can totally do your own thing and look after like a part of the onsen. And so can your other player like look after the other half. And you don't ever have to interact. And so in this whole kind of time management co-op style of game, if you've got Overcooked being the type of game where you will have to work collaboratively and sometimes you have to have like a fifth player in ordering people around, don't worry about that and that complexity. Onsen Master is one of the most basic ones out there totally and it's almost akin to a more diner dash style of game where you just have to run around collecting plates, washing stuff and doing like a couple of key chores. So what's it that you do in Onsen Master? And I'd say there's probably four things that you do in this game. The first one is that when a customer or a yokai comes in, they'll have an ingredient above their head, and that's the type of hot spring that they want. You'll run and grab the ingredients, and then you'll go to the preparation area and you'll grind them up by rotating the right analog stick around a few times. Pick up the ingredients, dunk them in the hot tub. Sometimes they'll want a charm. Um, I think there's a proper word for it, but I'm going to say charm. It's like a, a piece of text um, like a spirit spell and that will need to be put on their hot tub too for them to be fully satisfied number two is grabbing the customer by the hand and dragging them to the hot tub and dunking them in it <laughs> now this is done by the trigger buttons which you also carry the ingredients with but what's cool about this is that you can have a character or a customer sorry in each hand so left trigger and right trigger and drag them along which is handy if you've got two characters that need the same type of bath because you can fit up to four people in a bath at the same time that's all cool but then if you've just got one uh, customer wanting one type of bath and you've set it up, what you can do is use both triggers and then you'll run faster because you'll be able to balance the customer on your head. <laughs> and this is where the slightly um, clumsy graphical style actually works really well because I found it quite like mildly hilarious just seeing like these characters just being like chucked in a hot tub and being like, there you go, chill, mate. <laughs> I thought it was quite cute. Number three is that after a while, if, say, you dunk the wrong ingredients in a hot tub or um, you get a mix and match of people that want different ingredients in a hot tub or the ingredients just get stale, you'll need to clean the tub. So again, you'll jump inside the tub and then you'll rotate around with the right analog stick to clean it. That means that it's fresh with water and you can go off and get new ingredients. And the fourth and final thing is that as customers get in and out, or if you've got like a kappa or a boss that's running around splashing everywhere, because this seems to be one of the main traits of tricky customers is that they run, run around everywhere causing a mess. You can press either X on an Xbox controller or square on a PS4 or 5 controller to um, mop up the floor. And what that means is that you go faster because if you're walking through mess, it slows you down. At the end of each of the three levels in a certain hot spring, you get given a boss battle. Now, bosses all have their own unique traits, and it's probably one of the strengths of Onsen Master because each one feels and plays differently. However, there's some counterintuitive mechanics around how this works. In boss battles, you can ignore all of the other customers and just focus on the boss because you have to clean the boss three times during the time limit for you to then unlock the next 
hot spring and continue on through the game. And what happened with us when I was playing with my friend was that we were playing and we would wash the boss two times but look after all of the other customers and get a three star rating which is the top rating you can get in a level and then not unlock the next levels and we genuinely thought oh have we finished the game that was short (laughs) what we didn't realize was that you could ignore every other customer and get a one star just for looking after the boss and then it unlocks the next levels and we thought ah that's a bit wonky a bit wonky continues through quite a few things in Onsen Master, if I'm perfectly honest. The versus mode, I think, is really poorly put together. So in this game, you have solo mode, obviously, for single player action. Your score counts towards whatever it is your star rating is. In co-op mode, obviously, you're working on one score for, again, your star rating. In versus mode, you would think it's going to be who's going to have the highest score wins. But it's not. It totally makes no sense whatsoever because it then gives the top scoring player's score a rating between one and three stars and lets you progress, which seems really at odds with a versus mode because then you're in no incentive to actually verse someone and just give all the points to the other player and then you can continue. Very odd. It just felt arbitrary. And the game is not designed for verses either because you're working in the same bathhouse. You're not really able to interact with the other player apart from occasionally stealing an ingredient, maybe, if they drop it on the floor. It feels like versus mode was tacked on as an additional extra right at the end and not really thought through because there is no true versus mode in this game at all. The other things that start to grate and get annoying is the scenery clipping that happens in this game and also the way how when you're trying to manoeuvre around some of the levels that start to have steps and like higher and lower levels, um, the way how you drag around the customers looks really awful because they get stuck in scenery and In the game, they're still going with you, but they look like they've been left behind because they've got stuck. But the game hasn't noticed that they've got stuck. And so you end up kind of getting to the bathtub. And then if you let go of how you hold them, they magically like fling themselves into the bathtub sometimes. Other times they don't. But actually you have dragged them with you. It's just visually they've got stuck. However, you might not necessarily know that and then run back and then go and grab them again and then watch them get stuck, blah, 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 blah. It's really frustrating. It gets more and more uh, obvious as you get into the more difficult and um, complex hot spring levels as you go through the six different areas. And it's just a real shame because... No, this game is not going to match and rival your overcooked, your tool ups, your moving outs. Um, there's so many of these types of games and I love so many of them. This is not near the top tier for me at all, unfortunately. I love the theming. The soundtrack is superb. Um, if you like feudal style um, music. What I think is really telling is that a few people I've played this with very briefly, it must I must admit, have all come away with the same, meh, it's all right. No one's been like absolutely wowed by it. No one has had a visceral hatred for it. But uh, everyone has commented on there needed to be something else going on for this game to feel like it was massively involved. So, yeah, it's interesting how four different people who don't know each other have all said the exact same piece of feedback. So hopefully some of the bugs can uh, be ironed out over time. I don't expect the gameplay fundamentally to change. But if you're looking for a lighter version of Overcooked that you can just settle into and enjoy and not have to worry so much about the cooperative side of Overcooked, then perhaps Onsen Master might be for you. For me, though, it doesn't reach that top tier echelon of what so many of these games do. Um, And I'll need to do like a proper good list of like 10 that I would absolutely recommend because I adore this subgenre of game. And yeah, I have plenty of recommendations that I would tell people to buy immediately. I don't think Onsen Master would be one of them, sadly. Written review will be over on highplaynegames.com. Take care. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. 
The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higherplanenetwork. Your support makes all the difference, and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.